This is your boy L. Burley back here with Ian the Dean the Mean, and we are talking about joints and what they mean in the fight. Today's joint is the wrist. So remember, we both got a minute to break down what it means to us and give you the information you need so you ain't out there getting boobopped. Let's go, hands up. So what do the wrist mean to me? So one of the, uh, one of the things we see a lot is this. And it was my Spanish boxing teacher, Killer, that helped me understand what the wrist can mean to you in the fight, especially making fists. So a lot of times in the fight when we got here, you may want to grab this hand or move this hand away. And when you do that, you take away your punch. Not only that, in this position right here, my knuckles that I need to hit them with is facing God in the universe. And I ain't got no beef with the metaverse. I got beef with the man in front of me. So how do we use the wrist? We slightly bend them forward, like you're holding the gun, six shooter style. Now this also gives you, hold them straight up, this also gives you grabability. Yeah, baby, and I'm still keeping my fist. And my two punch knuckles are pointed at him. And now because of that, I can make his whole body the target instead of just his face right here. I'm eating that right there all day. Bang, I'm turning that over. And because of my wrist of bent, he is getting the two knuckles constantly. You go. What you got for me? All right, wrist position. I'm going to look even simpler, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to say most people's issue with the wrists is that when they hit, it doesn't connect to the elbow. Okay. Right? So primarily we're looking at methods of stability. Mm -hmm. Right, so like how does somebody stabilize their wrists and how does it lose stability when you're hit? Mm -hmm. Right, so like one of the things I'm going to look at is like let's say on the hook, right? So when people are throwing their hook, often the issue on impact is that their elbow hasn't fed into the wrist joint. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see is the impact ends up being strained in the wrist, and yeah, people will tell you that, that they feel pain in their wrist when they throw their hook. And then they'll try to adjust it and they'll turn it over and it'll still have the same problem because mm -hmm. they haven't actually fixed the issue which is feeding the elbow through the wrist. Mm -hmm. So that's a matter of alignment and position and footwork can often help set up that position, right? So like if I'm throwing it at a weird place to begin with, I'm gonna have a really hard time getting a proper wrist position mm -hmm. to you know get a perpendicular angle of impact which is ultimately what we're looking for so you know what we're going to look at is how to feed the elbow through the wrist right um even though we're talking about the wrist i'm going to think about letting the elbow float forward gently yes. you still talk about the wrist yeah. and that's going to feed the wrist mm -hmm. across center line mm. so as the elbow is creating a gentle pressure forward notice that the wrist moves laterally. So if you're thinking about a custom auto hook, right, where there isn't a really rotation element to it, mm he's -hmm. just having this vertical hook, mm -hmm. the part that gives it a lateral movement yes. is the elbow feeding through the wrist. Yes. Right? So it's a vertical punch, but the only stability was the elbow feeding through the wrist. Yes. And that snapped it across center line. So trust my minute yeah, on the wrist. No, yeah, no, I think we killed the wrist. And one other small thing I would add to the wrist is the turning of the wrist over. I think that's very important to the punch too. I right. think we can yeah. both use yeah. one minute on the yeah, wrist. Yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> we could probably do a little more minutes on the wrist, but you can turn that wrist over too. But we'll be back on the wrist.